how you can know about the topics that we will cover, the schedule, how to register, all of that information. I will actually share that information with you. So if uh, you could uh, go with me to our site called learnomicslogic.com. And so for this part of the session, I would like to ask you to actually make sure that you are registered. So this is the link, learnomicslogic.com. So if you could please let me know once you have registered. On the site, I will show you how to access the specific tutorials and the synchronous materials that you will leverage throughout the program. I will also briefly demonstrate how you can access the TBioInfo platform and try the analysis even in today's session so you get a sense of what kind of hands-on practical activities you will be going through. I will also show you how to utilize the R code playground so that you can practice some of the code that we will be going through for reporting and for tracking those variants. And also, I will then show you how you can register for the full program. So please let me know in the chat once you have been registered. If you're registered already, that's great. Just let me know in the chat. I will be looking for your answers. So once you are on this page, you need to go to login. And on the login screen, you can either log in your, using your email address or create an account right here. So I will uh, log in using my details. And once you are logged in, you will be seeing your profile here where you can understand how the program actually works in both asynchronous mode and synchronous mode. So for the asynchronous mode, really you have access to a number of different uh, opportunities for learning different courses. We have a number of different courses that use uh, data from the public domain and show steps that you can replicate on your own. And another section that you will see here is programs. So the same is available on the top menu. You can go to courses and search for courses. So we can search here, for example, for SARS, and you will find this project right here, COVID-19 origin and pathogenesis of SARS-CoV-2. Or you can search for genomics and find a course that introduces you to the basics of genomics, how to align sequences, what are nucleotides, what are amino acids, what is multiple sequence alignment, what is variant calling, et cetera. You'll also find here some coursework on coding, including getting started with bioinformatics in R or in Python. Okay, so again, this is the main area for you to gain access to some asynchronous materials. And you can search here. Most of these courses are going to include some basic material that you can get started with. And then as you are convinced that this is the right topic for you, the next stage is for you to find some premium coursework that includes a little bit more hands-on and a little bit more depth on the various options for bioinformatics analysis. And that comes with our starter subscription. So the starter subscription is really affordable anywhere around the world. It's only $10 a month. And for that $10 a month, you gain access to all of the coursework that is available here, even though most of it you could sample completely free of charge. Then we recommend moving on to the next level, which are the programs. And so today we have been speaking about the SARS-CoV-2 program. So that program is going to start on July 12th. So if you search in the program, COVID-19 genomics and variant analysis, this is the program that we're going to be starting. Now on my screen, you see what it looks like for someone that is already registered for the program. So let me introduce 
a little bit what this works like or how this works like. So as you can see, we have listed here the different sessions. They start on July 12th and you will see the topics listed right here with the specific dates for then when they will take place. And you can actually download all of this information by clicking, clicking on this icon right here. So you can scroll through and see how we will go through genomic data analysis. You will see how we will perform the analysis in R, and then you will see what are the different topics that will be covered in the different sessions. Down here below, you will also see some of the coursework that's going to be included. And that coursework starts with a course on introduction to bioinformatics. This is a free course that we recommend everyone to take. And the course includes some important information about the applications of bioinformatics in a variety of domains. So whether you are interested specifically in SARS-CoV-2, or you're interested in other topics like transcriptomic data analysis, metagenomic data analysis, precision medicine, and others, you can actually go through this course and see the different applications that will link it to the next step of what you can do in this uh, process. So after you've sampled some of those courses, you will actually get a certificate. To get that certificate, you need to have, uh, you need to complete all of the sessions that we have in the program. So there are going to be 10 sessions and that will come with our point system that you need to, uh, let me empty the caches here, uh, that you need to complete in order to gain the certificate. So the certificate comes uh, as a collaboration with um, a uh, university in Haifa, which is a university that is focused on development of bioinformatics tools that um, it seems Sonalika, that somebody forgot to upload the certificate here. Uh, but it's important to uh, complete this information that is presented in the program to gain that certificate. And then finally, what you will find here is a, a Slack channel that you can join to be connected with the mentors and the community of those that are participating in the program. And so if you join the program by the start of the session, which is going to be July 12th, you will have full access to our mentors and to the other participants. And you will see all of the interaction happen in live sessions like today, as well as on a Slack channel project dedicated to the community. As you can see here, we have different Slack channels for different programs. And so there it's an effective way to track different questions and technical issues, as well as to interact personally one-on-one -on -one with those that are members of this community. In addition to this, I want to show you a little bit about the bioinformatics toolkit that you will gain access to as a part of your registration. So registering for this program will give you access to some important pipelines that are going to be useful as we go through the different examples. So let me show you what I mean by that. Here, and by the way, after you have registered, you already have a demo account on this platform. This platform is called tBioInfo and it is developed by the Tower of Bioinformatics Research Center. So here you can see how using different types of pre-made pipelines, you'll be able to understand better what are the specifics of the logic behind this analysis. So how does that work? You will gain access to this interface. In the interface, we have informative pop-ups that allow you to learn about each step of the analysis, including what type of data we are using, what is the logic behind each individual step, and what are the specific outcomes of this step in the whole process of analysis. So performing these pipelines together you will learn about how the specific types of methods that we are utilizing are helping us gain a full result that we can analyze in the next step of the program. So once you have this result, some of this result is going to come as a PDF that you can download and explore visually. Some information is going to be FASTA files or even tables that you need to know how to work with. So to do that, I will give you just one example of what you can do 
with some of this information. And to do that, let me show you a course called Getting Started with Bioinformatics in R. So this is a course in R that will help you take FASTA files and tables and learn how to manipulate them to produce visual outputs. And the important part of this is that the practice comes right inside the browser. So even before you install and configure all of your libraries, you can already learn the code and try it yourself. So for example, in this brief lesson, you will learn about different libraries to work with FASTA files and sequences. And you will see how the specific steps of this process are explained very clearly in terms of the coding. And then you'll be able to try it yourself simply running this code in the browser itself and looking at the output. So learning about the code and then knowing how to perform the analysis itself gives you the ability to try this. And then you will be given some assignments that are going to be challenges for you to address as you try to write your own code. We'll help you reestablish what is the logic, but also how to practically translate that logic to coding skills in R. So the program itself will cover these topics from biology to bioinformatics to then the application to specific data sets that we've curated specifically for this program. And we'll end with your ability to perform the full analysis independently. And ultimately, for those that are interested, we also offer this as a transfer into our research fellowship program, which is a specific program that helps you analyze the data and then generate a report that you can share with others, including writing a full report as you go through the project steps. And to help you do that, we actually have a full project on how you can get started with a bioinformatics research project. So this project, this course, will guide you through the important steps of finding a relevant topic by performing literature review, identifying a data set in the public repository that you can analyze, and then submit the full project and get feedback from our expert community. So ultimately, when you go back to your personal profile, you will be able to track your progress and activity using our tracker and the point system. You will also be able to see what courses you have completed and all the certificates for each individual course are going to be available on your profile as well, right here under certificates. You will also see the progress of the program and each session that you have completed. So you can also include certificates for the program itself. And finally, you will be able to follow our process to get a project completed during this program and post it under your profile. So once your profile is complete, and you have reached at least 10,000 points by completing the coursework assigned to you as a part of this program or independently, then you will be able to submit a full project and you first have to learn about that project submission and then submit your project as an example to all of the people that you would like to share it with that illustrates how you have performed this analysis. So here at the bottom of the homepage, you will find some of those examples from our previous participants that have completed a project. I think this gives a brief overview of what the program is going to be about. And hopefully uh, everyone was able to see the different aspects of the program curriculum, the way that we will interact and the different resources that are going to be included. If you have any questions, I would be happy, happy to answer those at this time. And I do want to recommend for all of you that are interested in the SARS-CoV-2 project, we do have that project available that you can try out and see what that content looks like. 
learn about some of the basics as you get started, uh, kind of setting the background for the whole project context, and then taking that forward with this guided mentor guided program if you're interested to learn more and also become proficient in some of these methods of analysis. How do you access the R course? So all you need to do is to register on the Omics Logic program uh, platform, sorry, and you will see different courses as they've shown. So you can actually go to the courses tab right here and search for R. Um, sorry search for R and get started with getting started with bioinformatics. Or if you want more advanced R, you can go to introduction to data science. Now, several of the uh, projects that you see here also include specific codes in R. For example, if you go to genomics, as I mentioned, you will find here some coursework in R as well. So whenever you see R code, that means that the course includes some 